how can you tell that this side of this barbed wire fence was forested while this side remained a pasture. When you look here down this row of pine trees, it's really, really stark. We have all of these old branches reaching to this side. There's a few fundamental differences between the way that hardwood or deciduous trees grow and the way that softwood or coniferous trees grow. In the case of both conifers and deciduous trees, you can have an asymmetrical crown like this, but it's for different reasons. Hardwood trees practice what's called phototropism, which is where they grow toward the sunlight. This is the reason that hardwood trees can have these like really wonky and crooked appearances as they're sort of reaching toward wherever the sunlight is. Now our conifers, like these white pines behind me, practice what is called geotropism, which is where they grow against the force of gravity. And that's the reason why most conifers are really straight when you compare them with deciduous trees. But even though these conifers can't totally modify their growth pattern to reach toward the light in the same way that deciduous trees can, we still have all these lateral branches. Why? In the case of deciduous trees, they're practicing that phototropism reaching toward the light. In the case of coniferous trees, the fact that the light is reaching those branches is keeping them from shedding them. There's this thing in trees called branch autonomy, which is where even though the tree grows as a unit, at the same time, each branch supports its own semi-autonomous energetic economy. And when it's in the shade and it's not able to produce as much energy as it expends, it dies. Almost any species of tree will retain branches as long as they're receiving sunlight. And in this case, what we see is that we don't have these long branches over here because this was a shaded forest. And we do have these branches over here because none of these trees were here and that sunlight was hitting those branches, allowing these pine trees to retain the branches for longer. Eventually this field went fallow and they stopped grazing it or mowing it or plowing it, and these trees grew up, casting these branches into shade and causing them to eventually die. But still we can see for some period of time, probably decades, these trees were here while this remained a field.